Welcome back guys, this is chapter 17, we are going to talk about CH mode and CH own. Change mode and changing ownership of a file or directory. So let me create number of directories and files which we are going to talk about in this chapter. Let me create a test and test one directory. There are two directories. Inside the test directory, I am going to touch some of the files. Let me touch um, test file dot text a number of 10 files. All right. And let me come back to the home directory. Let us start the demonstration now. Our lesson. All right. Here, let us see first about the ch mode, change mode, ch mode. The command ch mode used to change the permission of the files. By default, whenever you are creating a directory, the permission will be the permission of the file will be the mode. The permission mode will be read, write, execute, and read, execute, and read, execute. Here we want to learn a little bit some, something about the permission of the file and the directory very clear carefully. If there is a directory created from the in the Linux, the default uh, permission will be set by using a umos. That will be uh, read, write, execute the seven number seven uh, five five. All right. The value of a read permission is and write permission is and executable permission is from a numerical form. We can take that one. Let me take the Lenore I am going to take by default the read will be 4 the, from by the value of 4 assigned with the value of 4 and the write will be assigned with the value of 2 and the execute will be assigned the value of 1. So if I want to uh, get the permission full permission read write and execute in one of the file now the test file test one directory has the uh, read write execute for user the first three is for user the D is directory I'm mentioning the directory but the file will start with the only hyphen all right if it's a file the permission will be start with the hyphen okay and uh, for the directory it will start with the D this is the first three is for user the next three is for group and the last three is for others except the user group and others all right it's a valid writable or a val level access okay so this is the user root i am the root user so whenever I am creating a file or directory, I will get the permission of read, write and execute. And my group, what are the groups are participating in the root group, it get the permission of read and execute. And the others, are, others will get read and execute. If I want to create a file uh, with the permission of uh, different uh, just my group also want to read and write and execute all the files. What are the files I am creating in the root user want to be accessed by all the users except others. Okay, so how can we do that? We can do using the ch mode command change mode is equal to ch mode. Okay, change mode. The change mode is used to change the permission of a file or a directory. All right, now I am going to show you how to change again you want to remember the read and write and execute the read has the value of number four and the write has the value of two and the execute has the value of one so if i want to give a full permission for my user in a directory i want to give read write and execute so the number four plus two plus one is equal to seven all right Okay, let me demonstrate by now, one by one, ch mode. I want to change the test directory 
uh, only readable by root user. I don't want to read by any other user or I don't want to uh, read by any other group or any exclusion or a write permission. Only the read uh, root user want to read the file, even root user don't want the write permission. Anyway, I am going to use the uh, read permission in, uh, for the root user for test directory. Even uh, the root is the king of Linux. Okay, the root user is the king of Linux. So we can't be able to restrict restrict him to use the uh, uh, restrict him to write on the test directory. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. Ch mode four zero zero. The zero zero means they don't have permission, but the root user have the only the read permission. Test. Okay. Now let me list. Here we can see the test directory I have assigned with ch mode 400. So now the test directory have only the read permission for the even the root user. But it's a root user is the king of Linux. We can't be able to restrict him. He can read or write even though he has the permission of 400. Okay. If I want to give the permission, uh, read, write, execute, three all full permission to root user and only the uh, group need to provide with uh, only the read permission, what the value will be there. So the root user want to provide with the full permission, 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7. The same time, the group, group want to be only the read permission. So the read is number 4. So let us use ch mode 740 test. Here we go. We can see the root user, the user was the first three number. I have already said the first three number is root user. Read, write, execute. I have number seven and the read, only the read for group. Only the read was for group. He can't able to write, he can't able to execute. And other users can't do anything. They can't read, write, or execute. Alright? The same thing in the ch mode command, there is one option minus c. Let us see what is the use of minus c. The minus c will show what happening from which permission to which permission I am going to change. If I am going to change I have changed the permission from 7400, uh, sorry, the value from 400 to 740. 740. So we, we can't be able to see what's happening, what permission from, which permission to which permission is changed. If I want to know how and what happened, minus C, you put the minus C and execute. The test permission was now, the test directory permission was now, Read, write, execute, and write. Let me give the full permission for the group also. Okay, for that 770 to test directory. So see here, the mode of test directory changed from zero, changed from the 0740 to 770. So once I list it. We can see the root and group have full permission now. The root user can read, write, execute. Same time, the who else, the group members are in uh, uh, collaborating with the root user can read, write, and execute on the test directory. Hope you have understand this very well. Let me show you how to use the UG, the alphabetic order, to change it, change the permission. Now, still now we have seen the numerical value to change the permission. To change the permission using a alphabetic words, uh, letters, you can use uh, ch mode minus c to show from which permission to which it's going to change. The user is user is u and the group is g and others are a, o. Okay. So, I am going to change now. Now, 0770 is the permission for the test directory. So, I want to uh, 
provide with zero uh, zero um, not zero or oh, five um, let me give you read and write for the root user and the others and the group are provided with only the read read access okay so read and write for root user that is six and the only the read access is four four for group and others on the test okay instead of using the six four four i can use user and group user have so the seven uh, six means user have i am removing removing the execution see i have removed the execution for x was removed from rwx was removed to rw now the root user not having the execution permission and now i am going to change the group okay i am going to change the group to only four the read only okay so i am going to remove the read uh, write and execution so that what will happen only the root user uh, the group have the write permission it's not having the read permission all right or if i want to provide with the only the write permission uh, and uh, only the read permission and the i want to write the i want to revoke the uh, read and uh, uh, write and the execute permission i can use a group hyph hyphen uh, uh, minus or hyphen and w and x the write and execute thus we can do it okay now the test directory was with the uh, read write and the group was read so i want to provide all the users uh, user group and all all want to assign with the same permission 666 read write read write read write okay so how can i do that ch mode minus c to show what happening okay uh, a all okay all or w okay on the test directory so that we can see it's assigned with 666 hope you got everything how it's very easier to uh, change the permission only you want to remember the thing is the read value and write value and the execute execution value okay that is 4 2 and 1 if you want the full permission on a directory you want to use 7 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7, and if you want, uh, it's better to avoid the full permission to give the full full permission 7 on for any one of the group or or uh, on others. Uh, you don't want to give for others and uh, group. You don't provide the 777 uh, permission in any directories or files. It's very 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 critical and it's very. Uh, 100 percent, it says security breach. So you, you are not going to use it in any case. Okay, if the user requests for to do a certain permission, he want to write or read. You want to look into the values and please assign with the specific required value. All right. Now let us see how to see the change the ownership. I have a user called sys admin in this server. okay so i am going to use that user the test directory has been was here so the root was owned by this directory the user and the group of this test directory was owned by root now i want to provide the access to this guy the sysadmin guy so how can i provide further i can use the command ch own change ownership here also we can use the minus c option to what going on on the background okay whenever i am change a permission or ownership from which permission to which it's changing we can see that okay so i am using the ch own hyphen c 
and the root is the user and the group is sys admin test which directory want to be changed with the root and sys admin ownership so once i press enter it will show the changed ownership of test from root root to root sys admin all right we can see the per the ownership of the directory was changed from root to sys admin thus we can change okay the same time this test directory have many files but those are not changed why it's still root we have a question this question so if you want to change all the files recursively if you want to use the uh, change the to change the all the uh, files inside the test directory to the root and system me it's recursive you can use the command ch own hyphen capital r or small r let me put c also let us see how and what happening okay root sysadmin test so that it will change all the file and uh, directories what are the directories and files inside the test directory will be changed from the root root to root sysadmin if you are going to navigate to test and list all the files we can see that change the user and group was change the same way we can use if you want to change the ownership uh, the permissions of any one of the file the test files are owned by root user uh, uh, read write and uh, the uh, group can have the permission of read and uh, others have the read permission uh, so let us see how to change the ch mode uh, we have not seen this recursive the same option we can we can use ch mode minus r um let me give the permission of 660 okay others can access test test all the files all the files means inside the test directory all the files means you want to mention the star all means the star means all the files okay dot means this directory the current directory so once i press enter let me list all the files inside the test directory you can see the permission has been changed to 6 read write 4 plus 2 and 4 plus 2 so 6 6 all right thus we can use the permission uh, change the permission and change the ownership recursively also it's very easy to use this command ch mode and ch own very very important one so you want to know about the value of a uh, read write execute first of all 4 2 1 read is again i am repeating 4 2 1 okay thanks thanks for watching if you want to know about more and more options about the ch mode and uh, uh, ch own you can run the command ch mode hyphen fn help or man ch own the here is the a man page of the ch one the same thing you can check for ch more also man for ch more there are many options it's a special permission we are going to see in the next chapter uh, set uid get uid and sticky bit subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right gnu logo thank you thank you for watching